This video, produced by the charitable nonprofit organization Genetic Support Foundation, provides important information about non-invasive prenatal testing, NIPT, including how it works, what results actually tell you, and how to decide if this test is right for you. What is non-invasive prenatal testing? Non-invasive prenatal testing, or NIPT, is an optional blood test that can be performed beginning at around 10 weeks of pregnancy and can screen for certain genetic conditions. NIPT goes by many different names, including non-invasive prenatal screening, NIPS, and cell-free DNA, CFDNA, testing. You may have heard it referred to as the new gender test or be familiar with specific test brand names. How does NIPT work? Our blood contains fragments of our DNA, known as cell-free DNA. When a woman is pregnant, her blood will also contain DNA fragments from the placenta, which has a genetic makeup that is usually identical to that of the developing baby. By analyzing this DNA in mom's blood, it can be determined if there is an increased or decreased chance for certain genetic conditions. What conditions does NIPT screen for? Though this testing began as a screening for Down syndrome, over time, the list of conditions being screened has grown, and the effects of the screened conditions vary tremendously, from very mild to severe. In some cases, NIPT can also predict the gender of the baby. Most of the conditions screened for do not run in families. The chance that a pregnancy is affected with a condition depends on a number of factors. Another note, not all NIPT labs screen for the same conditions. What can NIPT tell me about my pregnancy? NIPT is a screening test that can determine if the chance of certain genetic conditions in a pregnancy is higher or lower. Since NIPT is a screening test and not a diagnostic test, it cannot give you yes or no answers. If results indicate a high or increased risk, then a diagnostic test, such as amniocentesis, can then be performed if the patient desires to determine whether the baby really has the condition or not. If the results indicate a low or decreased risk, the chance the baby has the condition is lower but not zero. Keep in mind that false positives and false negatives do occur with NIPT. The chance of a false positive or a false negative result depends on the condition and also which NIPT lab is used. NIPT requires only a blood draw, so often it is described as not having any risk, but it may be helpful to think about what the test results may mean for you. Most of the time, the test will come back low risk, and many women feel relief based on these results. However, if the test indicates an increased risk, it may create worry and uncertainty about what to do next. Follow-up testing such as amniocentesis that can tell for certain whether or not a genetic condition is present in the baby does present some risk to the pregnancy, including an increased risk of miscarriage. The risk of miscarriage from amniocentesis is less than 1%. Here are a few questions to consider to help you decide if NIPT is right for you. How would you feel if results indicated a higher risk for a genetic condition? Would you consider amniocentesis? If not, would you be okay waiting until the baby is born to know for sure if the condition is present? Do you think this information would help you feel more prepared? For example, would you consider doing anything differently if you knew the baby had a genetic condition? Does more information with the possibility of uncertainty make you anxious? Some women would prefer definitive answers, and since NIPT cannot provide that, they may choose to go straight to a more definitive test such as amniocentesis. On the other hand, some women may feel comfortable with their chance of a genetic condition or are confident that, even if the baby did have a genetic condition, it wouldn't alter their pregnancy plans. 
or they may prefer not to face the decision of whether or not to have an amniocentesis if the NIPT comes back high risk. In these cases, some women may decide not to undergo any prenatal screening. So how do you decide about NIPT? The decision to undergo any prenatal genetic test is personal and should reflect your values, personality, beliefs, and needs. This decision should be made in consultation with a healthcare professional. There are many prenatal tests available, and your healthcare professional will be able to determine based on a number of factors if NIPT is an appropriate test to offer you. Your decision may be very different than the path your friend or neighbor might take, and that's okay. In most cases, prenatal genetic testing is a choice, and the best way to make a decision about NIPT that is right for you is to be informed. We hope that this brief overview of NIPT has been helpful. You can find even more information and useful tools regarding NIPT, as well as other prenatal testing options, at geneticsupportfoundation.org.